Hey guys, so I'm gonna be vlogging today. I'm going to get some errands done and um, try to pick up some things for the house and probably some stuff for my vacation. I am going to Florida for my birthday uh, to visit some family and just kind of just chill out. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. I may go to Home Goods and stuff. I went to one yesterday and look at this big bug. What is that? Ew! <laughs> Sorry. What was that? He's like sitting right there. But um, so I'm on my way to the nail salon, drop off some stuff at the cleaners, and um, what else? Pick up some things for the house pick up a few things for I don't know if I'm gonna go grocery shopping today uh, maybe I'll get it out the way I'm not sure maybe I'll just do it tomorrow get some gas do all that so that's my Saturday it's currently like 72 three degrees in Atlanta uh, it's not too cold it's not too hot I do have a jacket today because I hate being cold. So if it ends up being cold in the nail salon, I'll be good. It's usually cold, so I always try to make sure that I'm good when it comes to, to that. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I'll bring you guys along with me and, and probably just chat throughout the day with you guys. This bug is literally still sitting there. It looks like, what is that? Like a stink bug, I think they call it. But yeah, so I'll bring you guys with me today i'm also trying to get some things for my closet i just did a video with cleaning it up and stuff but i honestly feel like it's so dark in there so maybe i'll go to ikea but it just seems so dark in there that i need some more lights and i'm not sure if i'm gonna add in another like maybe like vanity vanity lights on the side of my mirror but I just need it to be a lot more brighter in there. I did take up the rug that was in there. It was like a black stripe. That actually brightened the space up a lot. Um, but my carpet is cream and I don't want that to get dirty from any makeup or anything like that. So what I'll probably do is find something to go under my vanity. So I'm not like making a mess on the actual carpet. So to, you know, when I move, I don't have to like really do much of like a harsh cleaning when it comes to that. This bug is still on the side of my window. So, yeah. But yeah, so that's what I'll be doing today. And I, I, I probably will go to Ikea and check out their LED lights, because maybe I can add some LED lights on the top of the closet, and that'll brighten, because it just seems really dark back there. Even though I have storage up there, it's not messy, but I would like it to look brighter up there. So I'll probably check that out. I'll probably go and see if I could um, get some some LED lights for my Billy bookcases. That'll probably work too. I actually really do want light in there. I don't wanna get the puck lights. The puck lights to me, I'm gonna need more than, how many shelves do I have? I think I have like eight shelves in each one. That's a lot of lights just for it to shine on each row. But I've seen people take the LED light strips and put them alongside the door and that actually brings in more light to each shelf without you having to buy a puck light for each one. So I'm gonna try to do that. I don't know, because I may have to drill a hole. That may not work. Look at this bug, he's still sitting here. <laughs> so that may, um, that may, I don't know how it's gonna come out. I'm, I'm gonna just see what they have and see what I could actually do by myself without getting someone from Task Rabbit to, come in and um you know install something for me so i'm trying to save some dollars save some dollars you know so yes guys so i don't know today i'm probably gonna just chat with you guys and see you know some things that's been going on in my regular life and you know dealing with difficult people at like your job and you know, trying not to <laughs> be angry with them, um, try not to <sighs> let them get to you. But I've noticed that a lot of people 
that work at companies for many, many years that are old, older, they kind of are stuck in their ways. And, you know, I noticed this when I was in New York City working at one company and it was a lot of older people and, you know, they made pretty good money there. But they were just like stuck in their ways and it was just very, very, very ghetto, okay? It's like they didn't know how to turn off certain things. And I feel like you need to be able to code switch. I don't care where you are, you need to be able to code switch and that's anywhere, okay? And I don't mean, quote unquote, when people say acting white. No, that's not it. You just need to know how to present yourself in a certain way or act accordingly in certain situations and especially work. So, you know, I, I noticed that a lot of the older people that worked at places and they kind of stayed in the same position or moved up extremely slow, feel a way about people who come into the company as a new employee taking a higher position. Um, I'm not too sure if it's they feel entitled to the to the position because they've been there or they feel like they know more. But sometimes people gotta realize it's not it's sometimes it's not even about what you know. Are you able to one code switch? If you're having a meeting with a client, you should be able to articulate certain things. You should be able to um, not be ab aggressive. Uh, but you should be able to just be in a, like a, a place where you're not taking sides. You should be able to know how to speak certain words. You should be able to write a proper email. Now, I'm not saying that people don't have uh, issues like typos and stuff. I'm not talking about stuff like that. I mean, like when you email in a person, this is my motto. If you're emailing someone and and you're emailing them and it's like a, um, where they working at at? Oh, they have on like a little situation over there. What's that? Oh, it looks like a workout thing. All the little, the, the moms are going. But you, sh I'm sorry guys. You should be able to like turn certain stuff off, okay? And I'm from New York, so I'm very conscious of my accent a lot at work. My staff never, they always says there's nothing wrong. They don't hear anything. It's not that serious. But for me, I feel like I always hear it. And they, they say no, you know? Okay, I'm pulling up to the, I'm lazy right now, guys. Yes. Yes. Uh, next week? Y yeah. We going where? <laughs> okay, hold on. Three, four. Oh, five, six, seven, eight shirts. A jacket and two and a pants and a shorts. I'm at the cleaners, guys. Seven? Okay. Oh, something fell? Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait here. And then a pants, a shorts, and a jacket. So that's two weeks, maybe three weeks of stuff for the cleaners, guys. Do you guys put your stuff in the cleaners? I think people should. I think certain things should be put in the cleaners and some things you should just wash on hand or 
on cool water or short cycle. That way you're not, you know, dragging everything to the cleaners that doesn't need the cleaners. She's funny. I like her. She be like, baby, <laughs> baby. <laughs> And then I always ask for the price because I don't like to get surprised when I come back and get it. She'd be like $60. So yes, that's what I am doing today. And I need some gas. My car looks like it's on E. Uh, Tuesday, Monday. Thank you. Azul, thank you. <laughs> Oh, me? I know. <laughs> I need some clothes. What's my price? $50. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay, you too. Bro, she. <laughs> I don't know. She just told me a story about Mexicans and black people in a, a fight or something. It just sounds a little crazy. She's so funny, though. I don't know if she was being racist. I have no idea. But uh, she said in 1980, she remember going to a part of wedding or something. And then it was like um, a fight broke out. She's like, the black people lost. <laughs> She's like, but they were strong, but they lost because the Mexicans had fire. They threw like fire, like what do you call tail, tail bomb? I don't know, T cocktail bombs. I think that's what you call them. Anyway. <laughs> Oh my goodness, she's so crazy. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go to the nail salon now, and I don't know. I'm gonna try to record on the inside. I'm, you know, I'm looking. If anybody from Atlanta who follows me, I know I don't have a lot of followers, and I'm not sure if any of you guys live here, but I'm looking for some really good uh, nail techs that are preferably black and that um what's the word let me make sure i don't want to forget this that are black and that do feet too because <laughs> some of these nail techs are doing nails but they're not doing feet and yeah that's that's a no no i need to do both of them at the same time and i just want to i want to support smaller businesses honestly that's why i'm kind of heading um, it's a little bit easier in New York City, and that is because of that's because they we have a lot of smaller shops like in certain areas, so, and in like Brooklyn and stuff, it's easy to like really support the small businesses. So I'm gonna try to do that here in Atlanta. I know there's stuff in certain areas, but it may not be stuff that I like I can probably buy accessories or something from them. Maybe not clothes, but I do like accessories from like small businesses that are like handmade. Um, I just like the fact that they took their time to make this stuff. So yeah, 
yeah so anyway so back to the job situation i do feel like there are women and some men who feel like because they've been at a certain company for a long time they should move to a certain position but again i still think that people should learn how to speak at jobs formulate an email you know when you are speaking at a in a company this is my motto i think this is where i stopped off at this is my motto if you send an email to someone in the morning and it's about one topic i think you should address the person hello good morning hi whatever if you don't like to say good morning say hi hello say something right and say something so um and then if you're, if you're emailing them on another email topic, I think you should address them again. I don't think you should ever start talking in an email. I, just, just, I think it's rude. Uh, and that's one of my pet peeves with a lot of the people at my job. And this is all races of people, okay? So if you start an email with me and there is no good morning or an I am, I will say good morning, <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Because I I, I, didn't, I wasn't with you last night. I didn't sleep in your house. None of that. But I, I definitely think people have to do a better job at saying good morning in emails. You know? Not necessarily. You you don't have to necessarily. Um, oh, that's a spot. Guys, I can't. I drive really bad, guys. I'll be honest with you. My ties be all crooked and stuff. But I, I am a firm believer of addressing people in emails, not using exclamation points when it's not like excitement, okay? Because they can be taken out of context. And I mean, when you say thank you, that's fine. But other times, ah, people gotta be careful with what they use and or how they use it. So, yeah, guys. But I'm about to go into the nail salon and I will chat with you guys. I may try to vlog on the inside a little bit, maybe. It's depending on how crowded it is and, um, you know, where they sit me at and stuff. So if not, I'll catch you guys in a second back in the car on the way to probably the mall up here. Um, probably some home goods. I'm just looking for a few things for the house. All right, guys. So I will catch you guys in a second. All right, so I am not going to the nail salon because it's so crowded. So there is a, are they just, who would park behind me? People do stupid stuff, guys. I'm trying to tell you. They really do. And you don't know how a person drives and they do stupid stuff like park like right behind you. And it's not even a spot. I don't wanna make sure I hit the guy who's parked properly. Let me tell her I'll just come back later tonight. Yeah. Because I got other stuff to do. I guess I gotta go to Ikea, but I'm like, let me go get some gas first. Get some gas and then go to the mall up the street, which mm, do I even want to go there? We'll just go to IKEA. I guess I could go in there and see what they have. I'm a little hungry. I didn't eat any breakfast. I'm trying to run out. Don't do that, guys. Make sure you eat before you go. Because then you'll end up buying crap outside and you don't want to buy it you don't want to spend money on trash i'm just saying <sighs> so let's get some gas here and let's see what we got i'm kind of like on i don't want to say eva almost <laughs> get some stuff to clean my tank and i need a car wash maybe i'll do that too all right, guys, so let me get some gas and I'll be right back. Are you guys tired of me saying I'll be right back? 
That's that respect thing. I'm letting you guys know that I'm leaving, <laughs> even though you won't see it on the video. <laughs> but I can, I can, you know, edit it out if you guys hate when I say it. But I'm, I like to say it though. All right, so let me, um, uh, what am I looking for? My purse, my purse is so, you know what? I'm gonna get that divided thing because I have stuff everywhere in here. And I try to keep it as neat as possible, but I always feel like I have receipts in here. That's the part that kills me, it's the receipts. And I don't know what I'm holding on to. Oh, that's that. Okay. I like to keep them, but sheesh. All right, let me go get, oh. Look at God, because I was looking for a napkin not to touch this dirty uh, gas pump. So, <laughs> look at God, looking out for a system. Let me get some gas. And then we're good to go. All right. Okay, guys. Did I stop my car? Yes. All right, guys. Word of advice, guys, for the ladies. This is something that I always do at the gas station. When I get out, my car door is unlocked until, because you know you can't open up your gas pump. Well, this car, you can't open up your gas pump, the gas door until the doors are, um, until the doors are unlocked. Well, if the doors are unlocked. So, but immediately, once I, tap it open I lock my doors immediately um, and that is because I don't know I just see too many people being like carjacked and stuff at the gas stations and stuff also what is he doing I also um, take my when I get in right away I immediately lock my doors because people are crazy as all hell okay they are okay i got a full tank now i think we're still going so she said an hour and a half i'm gonna go up to i don't know if i should go to that mall i guess i should yeah but so all the talk about work and stuff um i know when people work at companies for a long time they feel entitled to certain things and it's really not the case. I've seen it firsthand a million times that it's just not the case. 
it really ultimately boils down to who they want in a certain position. I'll be honest. Some people are just not people. People persons. People. <laughs> yeah. So, and that's, that's okay. But, you know, sometimes you just got to suck it up. And I also feel like if something is not working for you, if you feel like a company has not did you any justice, then leave. There's so many jobs out there. A lot of people really do feel afraid not to have a job because, you know, they feel like it's hard. But I, I'm a firm believer if you put that energy out there that there's nothing, then it won't work, you know? So I definitely think that that's, that's a, a big roadblock in people's thought process, a lot of people's thought process. So, you know, I try to just think as positive as I can because it does affect the way things work out in your favor, you know? That's just how I see it. And this is coming from a person who, my life is definitely not perfect, but I try my best to not surround myself with certain type of energy and just kind of stay away from certain things because I'm telling you, there are some miserable ass people. Look at this genius. Some miserable ass people out there, and it's nothing that you can do about it. Young and old, okay? In all types of positions at work. You don't know what they have going on at home, what they got going on at home. And I think a lot of people bring this stuff to work. I've always said, that's one thing I would never do, okay? My mom was sick and dying of cancer and I still went to work. Didn't take it out on anybody. So I don't have any empathy. Well, I don't want anyone to say empathy. I, 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 I'm just, I'm, I would just tell a person, don't bring it to work because I feel like that's your only place to like kind of just like forget about it and think about something totally outside of your 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 daily life um so yeah but on another note guys um you guys gotta let me know what you want to see on this channel what other things you would like to see um, I'm trying to give you guys a little bit more about my life and stuff. You guys know I am a vegan. I have to start incorporating more of that with you guys because I changed a lot in my... Well, I don't want to say I changed a lot in my diet. Uh, I did change some of the stuff that I that I used to eat. I added some more things in. That's not on Dr. Sabi's list. So, officially, I'm not 100% a Sabi baby. Because on my cheat days, I do dabble in... Like, they have a vegan Thai spot here in Atlanta. It's so good. So, so I think it's still, everything is still plant-based. So, I'm technically plant-based. I'm just not a savvy baby anymore. <laughs> savvy. Uh, but, you know, I still, I still, I still do what works for me and my body. If I feel that my body is telling me I need to start eating something, I'm going to eat it. Okay, uh, so just pay attention to your body, guys, because it's it speaks to you. I don't care what anybody says. Sometimes you don't realize that you have a little pain in your shoulder, and you just let it go. It could be the cause of I don't know stress, a pain in your side. It could be anything. Pay attention to your body. That is one thing I will always preach to people. You know, any little thing. And for me, when it comes to like breast cancer, if I got if anything on my body is hurting by my breasts I am at the doctor and ladies make sure you get your your mammograms and stuff it's very scary I know I'm going all over the place but it's very scary to um you know get those done and wait for the results and stuff but I would recommend women make sure you get them I had to start getting them early because of the history uh also I have taken the BRCA test I think it's called the BRCA yeah B-R-A-C-A test it was a little expensive, but that is the genetic testing. I think if you have a history of this, anybody who is on my channel, if you know anybody, any men who watch me, I definitely think that you should 
If you know anybody, you let them know about this BRCA test. Take the genetic testing. Uh, I didn't have anything that was, you know, alarming to them. Uh, they said they didn't see anything, which made me think, well, is it something in the food, you know? Is it something in the food that, you know, why my mom and my aunt had breast cancer and my grandmother? I don't know. But I know for me, I was like, okay, we're going to stop eating certain things. We're just going to cut it out. I don't want anything to feed certain things. I do know that caffeine feeds a lot of things that women have, like tumors and fibroids and stuff like that. So I do feel like if you can cut out your caffeine, then I think that'll, that'll help. I think if you cut out dairy, you'll see a drastic change in your body. Um, but, I, but you know, if you know anybody, tell them about the bracket test. Get the bracket test done if they have a history of it. Get that out the way. Um, you could also do, what's the other test that black women, I want to say black women and men, um, check your B12. Uh, a lot of African Americans, they say, have a low, I'm sorry, not your B12. Check your white blood cells. They say that a lot of African Americans have low white blood cells. I do know that they say that it has something to do with the way something sticks to the walls, like our white blood cells stick, stick to the walls. But pay attention to that because that could also end up causing you to have issues with like bones and stuff and, um, and possibly like bone cancer. So, you know, I don't usually go to the doctor unless it's for a checkup and to make sure that you know I'm all right just like my normal stuff I don't get sick I try my best to not eat things that cause me to get sick which is mucus forming foods guys like I said I need to start doing more videos on it but this is just the lifestyle that I live now before I was not I didn't use I didn't okay I didn't drink milk before now I drink milk but I make my own milk so it doesn't have all the extra stuff in it also, I I would eat cheese, but not a lot. I was not a like an avid macaroni and cheese eater. Also, eggs and stuff. So, they dairy, period. I don't know why they got eggs in the dairy thing, but uh, those things cause mucus to form in your body, and it also causes you to get sick and your sickness to stay longer. So, let's try to stay away from stuff that causes mucus, guys. We're not getting any younger. Okay, and where am I going? We're not getting any younger, so what is this guy doing? Okay, we're not getting any younger, so you know, you have to take care of your body. Nobody else is gonna do it for you. Um, and then if you have kids, you want to be healthy for your kids, and this goes for men and women. Okay, I know I have a lot of single mothers out there and single fathers. You want to make sure that you're healthy enough to take care of your own children and be there for your kids, you know? So, my mom did her best and, you know, she ended up with breast cancer or whatever, but I really don't know. I really, I, I, I always wondered why, you know, my mom and her sister and her mom, but then my grandmother's sisters, they don't have it. So, it's just something that I always thought about and I just was very conscious of, you know, um, that I always kept on my mind to make sure that I did things a little bit different. You don't know what what's gonna happen to you, but I, one thing, cause we all gotta go one day. I don't wanna die a painful death at all. Nope. If I can avoid that, then I, I, I will, you know. People say it was a, a TikTok going around and the girl said, even if you eat healthy, you do this, then we still gonna, we still gonna die. We know that. But I, you know, I just wanna, it, it, it's, it's something to be said about when you feel good. Like you, your body feels good. And I can attest to that, you know, taking out certain things out of my diet, you know, taking on things that I know that, actually I could tell you guys, so I eat, I drink a lot of herbs and stuff, but, and I'm a vegan. And I was definitely missing something in my diet. So I had 
to pick up a multivitamin. I drink sea moss and stuff, but I don't drink it like I'm supposed to because a lot of people are selling fake sea moss. I'm not drinking fake sea moss. <laughs> and the one guy that I did purchase from, he, you know, he sent out a mass email about why he's not selling it right now. Because people are getting so desperate, he said that they're just picking up sea moss from anywhere in Jamaica. And he said it's just not the best quality. So he's not gonna sell it in his business right now. So he created something else. So I totally get that. So I have to start taking a multivitamin and I probably will do a video on it. And I'll tell you guys this, it's organic, it's not perfect. Um, and I'm a person that doesn't like to take anything man-made. Mm -mm. But I do feel like the moment I took that vitamin, <laughs> I felt so good. And I know, I knew from that moment that I was missing something in my body. I don't know what vitamin it was. I wasn't getting enough of something, but I, I definitely felt it. I'll link it below in this vlog, but um, I'll probably do a separate video on it because there's a couple of ones that they do have. I know there's one when you take two a day and that one has kelp in it. Then they have one, I think it's My Kind Organics. So they have a woman's daily one a day multivitamin. Then they have one that says multi. And I think that's the one that has kelp in it. And I may try that one because you take two a day. And I believe they say kelp has B12 in it. So I would probably try that out myself uh, just to see how that one takes. And then they had a 40, 40 plus one. Now, I didn't get that one, guys, even though I'm, I'm going to be 41. <laughs> uh, that one had some stuff in there for the breasts. Uh, I guess I didn't want to try it out because I wasn't too sure what it was in the in the breast, you know, um, for the breast. So I, I didn't I didn't get that one. I got the regular one, and I like it. I like it. I wouldn't. And I'm I'm funny when it comes to vitamins, guys. So if I'm saying that I like something, it must be good. Okay. So it looks kind of dark in here. What's that? Um. Yeah, so I'll, I'll link that below for you guys. But take care of your body, guys. You know, nobody's going to do it if you have kids. And two, even if you had a job and you feel like you need a break, take a break. You could be going tomorrow. They don't care. They're going <laughs> to replace you with somebody else. <laughs> you know, I watch people that work, 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 and I'm just like, you need a break. You need a break. You need a break. Okay? People are not going to care. Look at these guys. They all trying to get over. And now I'm being slick. Do you guys let people in? <laughs> I let people in all the time because I don't have time to be fighting on the daggone highway. I got a oh. Looks like a splinter. I'm gonna see if I can get back to my nail salon quickly. And then go to IKEA. Yeah. So, take care of your body, guys. Okay? Because that's what we do. We take care of our body when we, we're 40 plus. Honestly, starting 35, I would say. Maybe 30. <laughs> Maybe 30. <laughs> take care of your body, guys. Please. Okay? You know, listen to it. I know, you know, there's a lot of older people who don't like, you know, to do certain things um, health wise because they're scared and I totally get it because you can't really trust people I, I you know someone someone that I met once or twice I think I met her she passed away and she had a surgery and you know I, I was telling someone like they were supposed to do one surgery on her for her thyroids and they did I don't know, they, they said they opened her up and then they was like, oh, they saw a cancer or whatever, right? It just seemed a little odd to me, okay? She ended up passing away. And I'm gonna tell you how crazy it was because I said to my, the person, the, my, uh, one, of, one of my friends, I said, listen, I think that they did something wrong. They punctured something and they closed her back up, okay? because she was totally fine when she went to go get her thyroid surgery. They closed her up and said, oh, they saw cancer. Then they said they got the cancer out. 
it was just like a bunch of stuff it didn't make sense to me at all i'm so sorry it did not make sense and she ended up passing away like in like i think it was like two weeks later so shit like that don't sit well with me i don't let them cut me open if they don't have to okay thyroids is one of those things i know people a lot of people suffer with but i know that there's ways you can like cure it i guess without having them cut you open but i also think a lot of people don't want to do the work you know i sent a list a list of some stuff to uh someone recently because they were going through chemotherapy and you know i was just like hold on guys Okay. Oh, yeah. So I was just like, I have a list of stuff. Do you mind, you know, do you mind me doing some research? And I gave it to them. I know it was a long list, but they never said thank you. And I don't even think they they tried it because the list was overwhelming. So I think a lot of people get overwhelmed. I think a lot of people get overwhelmed with stuff and decide that they're not going to do it because it's this probably just seems like a lot. But I, for one, will try something organic or natural before I let them give me something from a doctor. Yes. Do your own research, guys. It's your life. So honestly, I think it's like you're just a number to them. And it's not to take away from doctors and what they do and stuff like that. Absolutely not. But they, they have to turn off certain things, too. They have to turn off certain things. Oh, that's what I put in there. <laughs> Damn. So I was, <laughs> I was winging it on going to um, Home Goods. And my genius behind put in the address for Best Buy. <laughs> I'm a genius. What does Best Buy have that I can get? You think they have like a mirror, guys? Maybe. Let's see. Let me check my GPS and see what we got. groceries away I'm not gonna go through the video because you guys pretty much already know what I purchased um, from the supermarket well the farmers market so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna put everything away and close out this vlog with you guys I know today we were just talking about I was chatting with you guys about some you know work stuff work issues and stuff I did buy some oatmeal I usually don't buy regular oatmeal but um, I've been making a granola from scratch <sighs> but yeah so we did speak about some work stuff and I just wanted to close this vlog out just a quick vlog of me today kind of just running some errands and stuff I was able to pick up one thing 
this little glass and I'll show you guys some of my closet. I'll pop in a picture somewhere. But um, nothing much today. I was really looking for some, I'm sorry, I was really looking for some coffee table books again from Ikea. Not Ikea, Home Goods, And they didn't have any, again. These are some of the mushrooms that I buy, guys. Can you guys see that? I think I showed you guys before, but I buy these often. This gives you a good Philly cheesesteak texture type of thing. If you don't want to eat portobello or oyster mushrooms and stuff like that. So I'm just going to put my stuff away and prepare myself for night time. And I'll probably get some, some shooting done for some other stuff today. Not too sure. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about, you know, working with people who are very difficult, um, who are actually older, you know, than you or just dealing with difficult people in general. If you work in food, you may deal with difficult customers on a daily basis. If you work in um, customer service anywhere, how do you guys handle your issues with people? And for those, again, who work in an office space in corporate world, um, I used to work at a company in New York and I had a lady who, she just, I don't know. It was just something about her. She was nice at first. <laughs> they always thought out nice, right? But then, you know, you end up really getting to know people and stuff. And, you know, I do get it. It's different personalities in the workplace. That's why I say it's just business. It's not personal. Um, you know, and, and sometimes you can come across really good people at work. And I think most of my friends I met when in my adult years working, uh, well, early, early, early adult years. I got some aloe for my hair again, guys. Um, and, and we're still pretty tight. We don't speak every day, but you know, it's really hard to come by good people. Genuine people is very, very hard because people are honestly, at the end of the day, still have a little bit of jealousy in them. Uh, when people, you know, achieve certain things. And, it, and, and energy doesn't lie. You can tell, oh, this is a total cheat, guys. <laughs> so this bread doesn't have like any eggs or milk or anything in it. However, it does have yeast in it, and I try to stay away from yeast. So it's just wheat flour, sea salt, um, barley, and water, and what is this? Barley flour and malt. It's like malt. Yeah. So no, no dairy. That's the farmer's market we have in Atlanta. That's one thing I do like about uh, here, but that farmer's market, I really like it a lot. So if you guys live here, you guys should go check it out. They have a lot of organic stuff and they also have meat. If you eat meat, if you eat meat, I wasn't too fond of the meat section when I did eat meat. Uh, the fit, the seafood section is pretty okay. Uh, but they do have everything that I need as a vegan. And when I was 100% alkaline vegan, I buy walnuts and stuff so I could make my milk. I'm going to try to make ice cream and mix it with walnut milk. And I'll probably do some burrow bananas when they get really sweet. And try to, because it's not super sweet, not like a regular banana. I'm trying to make some ice cream again. That's the fun thing about being vegan. You can try different recipes and stuff. And and if it doesn't go good, I'm sure it's good enough for you to eat. And then some felt bread that I always get. And all of the bread that you buy from there is freshly made daily, so you have to freeze it. Let me grab the rest of the stuff. I got some organic peppers and stuff. And some watercress. Watercress is great, guys. Really, really good. 
and some organic cucumbers. This is all my junk. I got a pineapple, which I'm not supposed to have, but you give them the pineapple and they take it out for you out of the shell or whatever you want to call it, the pine. And what's this? And then I got some strawberries. Strawberries, blueberries, um, so I can juice and stuff. They didn't have any dandelions today, so I'm gonna have to suck it up and just drink watercress with it all week, or maybe possibly some kale. And then that's it. Yes, so. I just wanted to close out this, this vlog. I don't wanna leave you guys hanging. <laughs> So I'll close it out, guys. If you like more videos like this, please let me know. Uh, if you stay to the end of this vlog, please comment, Coco will see you. And don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco underscore styles underscore dot. Hold on. C-O-C-O -C -O underscore S-T-Y-L-E-S -E underscore N-Y. That's Coco Styles New York. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.